What up, YouTube fam? It's April G Showers back at y'all with another reaction. Again, I did trivia night Friday night. Ghost the rapper was the champion, and he got to pick three reactions of his choice. This is his third choice. Excuse me. It's called Words Without Knowledge by himself, Ghost the rapper. If y'all not subscribed to him, make sure you go subscribe. I'm looking at the uh, picture on the screen, and I can see Jesus in the sky back there. Which is cool. I like that. So the name of this is Words Without Knowledge by Ghost the Rapper. He just put it out a few days ago. So I'm excited about it. Haven't heard it. April G. Squad. Fist bump. Love y'all. Let's get it. Oh, y'all again. I'm sorry. I'm not in my big, you know, black and white fancy chair. I hurt my foot really bad. I don't know if y'all could see it, but my foot is swollen really huge where I tripped and fell a couple days ago, and it hurts really bad. And that chair sits high up and it's just not as comfortable so until my foot gets better i'm gonna be doing reactions in this chair so sorry if that bothers anybody but it is what it is sorry all right here we go <laughs> All the beefs and the battles okay. I'll try to keep it brief and not babble Something in the streets got me rattled I'm living in between so I straddle And lately it seems like I'm chattel I don't want to scream, I'm an adult I guess I'm a sheep to the cattle uh. Take a seat on this beat like a saddle uh. Let me explain Some disturbing questions going on in my brain If we were made to love Then why is there so much pain and so much hate I guess I'm in no place to judge Cause I commit those sins the same But I just gotta know God Why'd you leave us in this place On this earth With the yearning for knowledge But we can't even figure out Why we're here it's a problem And we just Uh God didn't leave us in this place. Um, it, it, we are all born into a fallen world because of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. And Eve's idiot self being tempted by the serpent, which was the devil, eating the apple, blah, blah, blah. She went against God. She sinned. And that changed the game from then till now. So we are automatically born in a falling world. Fallen world because of that. So it's not God, you know. It was human, Eve, who went against God. And so, yeah. But we can't even figure out why we're here, it's a problem And we just kill each other off, and these wars never stop And why do you give us all these issues with no way to fucking solve them? I gotta know, I can't be quiet, I gotta dig in the mind of the highest I gotta get to the gates and then scream, give us some answers or we gonna riot I understand where you're coming from, like there's been many times And I still have times where I get really angry at God uh, like, especially with my little brother's death, my little brother passed away when he was 21 of brain cancer. He was diagnosed when he was 11. Um, but he was a minister and a missionary, the best person I've ever known in my life. Um, all he wanted to do with his life is share God and Jesus with others. That's all he wanted to do. And he passed away at 21. And I, I I didn't understand it. I still don't understand it. And, um, you know, as humans, we want, the, we want all the answers. And we want to be able to understand everything. But, you know, if you're a believer in God, um, then you know God's understanding far surpasses our understanding. God has a perfect plan for each of our lives. Um, 
Now, as humans, what God sees fit, we may not see fit because we're humans. We're not God. We are not meant to know all the answers. Otherwise, we wouldn't need God. Um, but it does suck. And I get what you're saying 100%. Um, I get angry at God a lot. So, I, I get it. I get it. Um, but also, we can't blame God for what humans do. You know, God gave us all free will to choose whatever. And some humans choose good. Some humans choose evil. And that isn't God's fault. It's the human who chooses it. Not God. And while, you know, everybody's so quick to blame God for the negative things and the bad things, but then what about all the blessings and all the good things that we should be thanking Him for? And I'm guilty of that as well. So, yeah, um, it's humans that do those things. Is it God? While, yes, God knows all, and God, uh, everything that happens, God allows it to happen, Again, we're not meant to understand everything. And again, he gives us all free will. So, yeah. That's just my take on it. Way to fucking solve them. I gotta know. I can't be quiet. I gotta dig in the mind of the highest. I gotta get to the gates and then scream. Give us some answers or we gonna riot. Don't try to tell me it's Adam and Eve. And because of their sin, we're paying the prices. <laughs> that don't That's what I just said. Well, it's the truth. If that's not a good enough answer, I don't know what to tell you. Makes sense. We're seeing the innocent die with no fucking sin or no vices. Little children starving to death. I'm begging you to just stop this mess. I'm not perfect. I'm far from the best, but I can't just watch this darkness progress. Give me an answer. Give me a sign. Just give me something for I lose. Just as God works through other people, the devil works through other people as well. You got to remember that. The devil is the ruler of this world earth death i'm begging you to just stop this mess i'm not perfect i'm far from the best but i can't just watch this darkness progress give me an answer give me a sign just give me something before i lose my mind i don't know who else i can go to so I come to you in these fucked up times 9-11, I cry to heaven We're living in hell, oh provide a blessing Why does this shit even have to happen? 3,000 lives that day were rested Sandy Hook I remember, oh he just said Sandy Hook Ooh, school shootings Y'all know I'm a school shooting survivor I was 15 1995 Saw my best friend get shot and killed at school He also shot two teachers one passed away, one miraculously survived, my physical science teacher. But um, that threw me off. What did he say? 9-11. I remember I was in nursing school in class when 9-11 happened, and they turned the TV on, and we watched the second tower go down, and I bawled my eyes out. There's an amazing 9-11 documentary on um, YouTube. It's amazing. It's like two, two and a half hours long. And it's like live footage of the fire department and this certain fire department stuff that were there that day. You need to watch it. It's amazing. Um, I, you know, as far as the school shooting, I was in a school shooting, so I can speak on this. I don't blame God for the school shooting that I was in. Even though the school shooting has, you know, it changed me as a person forever. I was 15 years old. It happened in 1995 here in Tennessee. You can Google it um, and read all about it. Um, there's a couple of really short interviews on YouTube as well about it. Since it was in 1995, there's not a whole lot of, like, videos on it. But, um, you know, I, I don't blame God for that. That was the shooter's choice that day to do that. Not God. That, that was the, that human's fault. 
and his choice, not God. He wrote me a letter last year, 2019, and a poem. It's in my purse, trying to explain why he did it. He wish he wouldn't have done it, blah, blah, blah. He's still in prison here in Tennessee and will never get out. Um, but I don't blame God, like, at all for the school shooting. I hate that it happened because to this day I have nightmares, flashbacks, can't sleep, PTSD, depression, anxiety, all that shit, and it sucks. But that isn't God's fault. It's the school shooter who chose to do that. In these fucked up times, 9-11, I cry to heaven. We're living in hell, oh, provide a blessing. Why does this shit even have to happen? 3,000 lives that day were rested. Sandy Hook, that comes to mind. And now it's got me thinking about Columbine. And I think about all those lovely lives that were left to die. And now the pain combines in the aftermath. And now after class, better catch your breath. Don't know who's blasting next. So you say a prayer, but it don't even matter. Because I guess God don't hear you asking him. That's not true. God hears you. God hears you. But I'm begging you. Yeah, we need a friend, but a savior too. Hear my Max. cries, I pray to you. Before the next blow, please save us soon. I understand that sometimes it does feel like God don't hear you. But he hears us. It's just sometimes the answer to our prayers isn't what we want. So we look at that as him not hearing us or not answering us. When in actuality, he did answer us. We just didn't like the answer. Yo, I love that. I love it. And I get it. 100%. Sorry, y'all. I keep yelling. I slept like an hour and a half. And woke up and... Like, I don't know, I'm just tired. Anyway. Uh, great song. Uh, I love you speaking how you truly feel. I think that's amazing. Uh, and I just told how I feel, you know. I love the song. I love the honesty. Uh, I can feel your uh, frustration through your words, and I get it. 100% I get it. But yeah, that was Words Without Knowledge. Great title, by the way. By Ghost the Rapper. Again, y'all go subscribe if you're not subscribed. Congrats, Ghost, for winning trivia. Uh, we'll be doing trivia night again this coming Friday night, 8 p.m. Central Time, as long as life allows. Y'all comment below what y'all think. Comment below anything you want us to react to. Please like this video on your way out. A lot more important than anything. Please subscribe to my channel, y'all. April G. Squad. Fist bump. Love y'all. And I'll see y'all in just a little bit. Peace out.